I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Friday, September 30th, the scripture is from the first chapter of Habakkuk, verses 1 through 4, and the second chapter of Habakkuk, verses 1 through 4. The oracle of the prophet Habakkuk saw, O Lord, how long shall I cry for help, and you will not listen, or cry to you violence, and you will not save? Why do you make me see wrongdoing and look at trouble? Destruction and violence are before me. Strife and contention arise. So the law becomes slack and justice never prevails. The wicked surround the righteous. Therefore, judgment comes from forth perverted. I will stand at my watch post and station myself on the rampart. I will keep watch to see that he will say to me, and what he will answer concerning my complaint. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain on tablets, so that a runner may read it. For there is still a vision for the appointed time. It speaks of the end and does not lie. It, if it seems to tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. Look at the proud. Their spirit is not right in them. But the righteous live by their faith. Wait patiently. If the vision seems to tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. Chapter 2, verse 3. We can microwave a cup of instant coffee in a minute or get fast food from a drive thru we can get car maintenance or gas in a jiffy or quick, however it's spelled. We can receive urgent care in clinics. It seems many of us have an impatient need for speed. I'm impatient with big issues also. Like Habakkuk, I'm tired of seeing violence, wrongdoing, trouble, destruction, and contention. I want righteousness and justice to prevail, and I want them now. What about you? Do you join me in Habakkuk's fervent cry, O Lord, how long? Chapter 1, verse 2. Yet God's answer to Habakkuk is likely God's answer to us. God says, wait for it. Patient waiting is countercultural in our speed-driven society. Yet God calls us to faithfully watch and wait for the realization of God's vision of justice and righteousness. Even as we wait, we can work to do justice. Micah 6 verse 8. Knowing we have God's promise that it will surely come. Faithful God, help me serve as I patiently watch and wait for your promised justice. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.